Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy Antoine Smith 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 the Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down, man. Y'all know how to do it. Press that subscribe button. Also press that notification bell. And get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also press that like button. Tell me get my videos through the YouTube universe via your recommendations. Greatly appreciate that as always. But right quick, man, three keys to victory for the Atlanta Falcons against the Seattle Seahawks. And the Falcons coming off a disappointing loss. And I was kind of encouraged by it still. Uh, even though, you know, they lost last week. They showed fight to the end, but came up short. But this week in Seattle, man, I think it's a bounce back week. And I said that in previous videos, and I truly mean that. This is the perfect game for Marcus Mariota to turn it around. Atlanta defense to turn it back around all the way. And, you know, just change the whole energy of this team. Uh, but these three keys to victory for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I'm going to go first pass rush. Week one against New Orleans, four sacks. Uh, they played aggressive, hungry. Uh, last week, uh, they slacked off a little bit. But that fourth quarter, that hunger came back. They need to do that in full four quarters, and I think this is the game to do that. Um, a day, Ogundeji had a sack last week, six tackles. Uh, so I think he's going to keep getting better. Uh, Arnold Eberketti... Uh, Lorenzo Carter had a punt return, uh, a block return touchdown last week. Uh, so, I think if they play aggressive on defense, uh, force Geno Smith uh, to turn the ball over, which I know they will be able to do, um, I think this is a no-brain win for the Falcons. Uh, because, like I said, man, I think the Seahawks got lucky that first week against Denver, and the true Seattle came out last week in San Francisco. And that's very promising for the Falcons. But, don't let it fool you, man, because that 12th man is one of the toughest crowds in the NFL and could swing the momentum at any point in the game. Number two, take advantage of the loss of Jamal Adams. And what I mean by that, I think with that, I think the Falcons can win a line of scrimmage against the Seahawks defensive line. And the offensive line had played very well uh, the first two games. Uh, 200 yards the first game, only 80, only 90 last week. But like I said, I think they can get back on track this week. Cordero Patterson, I think, put the ball in his hands. Uh, see what he can do. Run the play action. Do what you got to do. But Jamal Adams was one of those safeties that they can move all over the field, whether it's you know, playing zone, playing on the line, blitzing the quarterback, playing well against the run. And that was a big loss for the Seahawks. And I think the Falcons should exploit that in any way possible. And that also could mean, you know, Marcus Mariota running the football again and throwing the football. I think he could have one of those games just like he did first game with 200 yards passing, 72 yards rushing. And I think he can have that, you know, breakout game. But taking advantage of Jamal Adams' loss, I think would be key for the Falcons. Number three and finally, get your playmakers to football, man. Drake London had a great game last week, eight catches for 86 yards. Uh, but I still think they need to find a way to get Kyle Pitts to football. And like I said, with Jamal Adams out, this is the perfect time uh, to exploit that in the defense. Take some shots downfield. Don't be scared. Have confidence in your arm, Mariota. Uh, make those plays. Uh, because at the end of the day, you're the quarterback, you're the leader of the team. And if the team is to get a victory, you're going to be that guy to give it to them. Uh, so... Get your playmakers to football, throw passes and screen passes. Um, let Charlie Algier run a little bit to wear down the defense. Uh, use play action, use no huddle. Anything to get points on the board, which also means scoring in the red zone. This is why you must get your playmakers to football because you got to score points in the NFL. And right now, the Atlanta Falcons are top 10 in points. So make it count, Atlanta. We watch you. But. Those are my three keys to victory for the Atlanta Falcons against the Seattle Seahawks. Y'all give me y'all keys to victory for the Falcons uh, this Sunday coming up. And let's debate, let's have fun like we always do on the Sports Machine. This your boy Antoine, Smitty Smith, Smitty Sports Machine. I will holler at y'all later, man. Peace.